So I recently went into the shop to buy a toy for my son and uh, I came across a tech deck and I haven't actually played with these in a while. Uh, I remember when back in the days when they weren't actually this cool. So tech deck have really done a pretty decent job at making a, you know, a better board. Yeah, although it's still pretty standard. Yeah, and it is still made of plastic. Uh, it has been really fun playing with it. I've been playing with it for the past two days and I've managed to finally get the Ollie back. And uh, you know, once you start being able to do jumps and everything, you know, you want to kind of have an obstacle that you can kind of uh, jump on. And although you can use a lot of different items, yeah, uh, there's always, there's, you know, there's something nice about, you know, uh, having something that kind of feels like you're at a skate park. And I did a bit of rummaging, you know, looking around the house, and I actually came across this really nice piece of metal right here, you see? Um, and I thought, why not turn this into a rail? So I figured that I would uh, put something underneath to kind of make it more stable. And I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I'm gonna do to do that. And you know, if uh, you guys have just found this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I'm actually going to be doing a little series about making different kinds of uh, obstacles because I enjoy making stuff. So I've got some really cool ideas. I've been doing a lot of research. So definitely hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like. So I can't, I'm gonna kind of go through what I'm gonna actually use for uh, for this build. All right, so first of all, we have our piece of metal, yeah? Now, when I put this down on the ground, I don't know if you can see, okay? But it's not very stable, yeah? So when I land on it, uh, it doesn't actually, you know, uh, stand still, okay? It, it can, but it's not like perfect. So I kind of want to perfect that. And what I've done is I've kind of just cut out some simple pieces of plywood and they have a bit of melamine on the front. Okay, so this will be the top side and the brown part will be the bottom side, the ugly part. And they're basically gonna be placed on like that and that, sh that should give it some stability, all right? And to do that, I'm just gonna do something simple. I'm gonna actually use a glue gun, all right? Um, just because it's quick and you know, if it breaks, I can just quickly glue it back together. And also because in the future, if I get a saw that can actually cut this off, then I might actually do a rebuild for this, which would be pretty cool as well. So let's kind of get started with uh, making it. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've got to go with the cool stickers as well, because you know, you've got to pimp it out a little bit, right? And this is our final product. So it's going to be stable and you guys don't actually have to use plywood. I mean, you can use anything that you want. Uh, if you have like something that's a bit more rubbery, that would be great just to stop it sliding or you know, if you still wanted to use plywood, you could just put some double tape on the back and that will kind of hold it still. Yeah, uh, I did have to add or I did have to do re or I did have to redo this piece just because it came off. So I added like a ton more glue. So my recommendation for you guys is to probably add some more glue just to make sure that it fits on solidly. Like this one's a little bit loose and I'll probably end up redoing this one as well. Okay, just uh, fill it up with some glue and that'll make it solid. Oh yeah, and I also added some stickers just to, you know, make it look more street. So why not give it a go? Let's do some skating. I'm not pro, but you know, let's get a couple of uh, fingerboard videos going. 